Hello, all you wonderful lovers of anything dinosaur toy related, and welcome back to Killer Shrew Fans Killer Toy Reviews. Now, I know yesterday we did, or the other day, we did say that we were going to start taking a look at some requested videos, but something came in the mail today, and we are just too excited to not take a look at it right away, and that is, of course, this. The Safari Limited 2018 Malawi Saurus figures, one of the, our most anticipated models for this year from Safari, is finally in our grasps. So we're just going to take a quick look at this guy right away and then we'll get back to doing your reviews. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bust this guy out of the packaging. Always the favorite part for any dinosaur collector out there. It's just something satisfying about uh, tearing these packaging uh, packages open and freeing the dinosaur from within. So there he is out of that plastic prison, standing in all of his glory. And a few areas of note, as you can see, Safari Limited did include a little tray there just to keep those legs from warping during shipping. And he does have the classic Safari Limited tag there, attached with a rubber band that can be taken off and put back on as you please. Now in hand, he is a little smaller than I expected him to be. Um, but my understanding of Malawi Saurus is that it was a smaller um, dinosaur. Um, again, this was an unknown species to me, but at the same exhibit where I saw that beautiful Amargosaurus skeleton, they did have an, um, a display of the Malawi Saurus, where I learned a little about that one. And turns out it is an awful small sauropod, so I think this one is sculpted a little more in scale than that massive Amargosaurus. Um, which, you know, good on them. I think Safari Limited just wanted to make at least one big dinosaur toy this year, and dang it, they were gonna do it, regardless of whether Amargosaurus was actually big or not. But without further ado, let's take a closer look at this Malawisaurus. So there he is, without the plastic tray and without that rubber band tag to hinder your view. And I gotta say, I really do think Safari Limited has created a truly unique rendition of a truly unique dinosaur toy and we're gonna give you a closer look at it starting off at the head as we usually do. Now the first thing to note is that this Malawi source does not have an open mouth but I do love the skull shape of this dinosaur. As you can see he does have the typical dinosaur eye there with the yellow iris and the black pupil and they did put gloss on it to give it a nice sheen and it stands to be said that this head is smaller than my thumbnail, so if you can just imagine the meticulous amount of painting that they did to get that eye to look that lifelike and that realistic, I mean, gosh, that is impressive to me. If you recall my reaction video to their lineup, you will remember me saying I was concerned about the white on the face, but in person, it really is a striking detail, the way that they painted this face, and it stands out from the rest of the dinosaurs. Going down the neck, as you can see, you have got lovely neck spines that start just behind the skull and continue a very short distance down. You've also got lovely, subtle texturing. Also, you've got wrinkles and striations running all the way down the neck, and just before the base of the neck, you start to see those little osteoderms and scoots that have been sculpted in. Their size continues to grow all the way down the length of the torso, and back here, you've got a great idea of the hip of this animal, like the hip pelvis bone poking out there, and the osteoderms and scoots continue all the way down to just past the base of the tail. The tail itself is also textured with wrinkles and striations and comes to an end. It does not curl up or flick in any way. It just sort of tapers out in a very natural and graceful looking um, way. I do like the tail on this model and it gives the creature some length since they decided not to go with that typical curled up look. The same side is the similar story. You've got the wrinkles, the osteoderms running all the way down the body. You can see the pelvis poking out right there at the base of the tail, and the bumps do continue all the way down to just past the base, and you've got lovely wrinkles and striations running all the way down. And I love the paint on this tail, how that dark brown and black radiates so nicely into the orange. It really is very pretty, this tail. The legs are once again sculpted in a walking position, though not quite as active as the Amargosaurus. You've got the left leg planted firmly on the ground, and the right arm 
either lifting up or being placed back down as the left arm braces. The front arms are do not have that sort of the thumb claw, but being a titanosaur, I believe that is accurate. The back feet, however, as you can see, do have the typical three-toed claws which are shaped in a sort of crescent moon way with the rest of the toes all being fused into sort of a hoof-like shape. Um, the texturing on the legs is not that incredible. It is there, but it is incredibly subtle. You can kind of see it, but we are very zoomed in here, so I think that is helping. As you can see, this creature is incredibly round in the midsection, leading to me, me to believe that it is very well fed. I mean, especially looking at it from the front. I mean, my gosh, this thing has got some girth. Which is really great to see on a sauropod toy, the round gut area. Um, and you can especially get that vibe from the underbelly here. I mean, just look at how small those those hands are or feet are compared to the, the, the width of that gut. My goodness. Unfortunately, they did not surround that gut with wrinkles or sagging skin in any way, leading this creature to have a look that it me that that makes it look like it isn't really lived in. It definitely has a toy vibe this one. It doesn't feel natural like some of their other ones, in particular they were Galaxeratops, um, which is very unfortunate. I feel like if they had put more wrinkles onto this dinosaur, it would be leaps and bounds ahead and really would have just worked to bring it up to the next level. The underbelly features all the pertinence, Malawi Source 2018 Safari Limited, and you can also see that they did sculpt those striations down on the neck. You've also got the texture, which is brought out with a lovely egg color that makes it pop. The paint job itself is very cool and striking. You've got whites, blacks, oranges, leading it to have this very tiger-like look, and they even added some sort of egg colors to the white areas just to really break it up. Um, and like I said, the paint job on the tail just gradiates so nicely and is probably one of the best areas of paint. Yeah, this is an incredibly striking paint job, so unique to dinosaur figures. I don't recall ever seeing this on any other um, figure that I own or have even seen. So good job to Safari Limited for creating a truly unique and bold color palette that will stand out amongst your other dinosaurs. Unfortunately, we do have some paint blemishes. There you can see on the osteoderm some splotches of orange where the black has either been rubbed away or painted over, um, which is unfortunate. I've been noticing more and more paint blemishes on my Safari Limited figures. There on the hip, you can also see the same story. You've also got some orange poking through the black, which is uh, just so disappointing. Um, I do not know if it was rubbed away for, um, while it was in its plastic um, prison or if it was just painted a little haphazardly. Going down the neck you can also see there are some areas of scraped away paint and chips which is unfortunate and I certainly hope Safari Limited is not at all like slacking with their quality control. Now you may be wondering just how big this figure is, and I did say in my intro that it was smaller than expected, definitely, but the trusty dusty canvas ruler puts it at somewhere for a, just past 14 inches long, just under 14 and a quarter inches long from the tip of the snout all the way to the back of the tail. Oops, sorry about that. He has been having some balancing issues on our review space. Hopefully that doesn't continue to the shelf area. But from the base all the way to the top of the neck, you're looking at right around three and a half inches off the ground. So yes, much smaller than expected, but I gotta say, holding this figure in my hands, he does feel like a really good size. And honestly, if dinosaurs of this size were alive today, I would certainly want one as a pet. So yeah, smaller, but not bad. For size comparison, we're going to go ahead and bring in the recently reviewed, also new for 2018, Safari Limited Regalis Ceratops. Um, so if you own that figure already, hopefully you can get an idea on the size that you can expect from this Malawi source. But I also just wanted to illustrate a quick point with this Regalis Ceratops. If we zoom in here and uh, just look at... Oops, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Touchy camera, touchy camera, come on back. There he is. If you just look at those lovely wrinkles that Safari Limited sculpted onto the Regali, uh, I mean, it just looks so natural, so organic. It looks like an actual reptile. And you take that away and see the bare, unsculpted, naked form of the Malawi Saurus, and it, 
it really is no comparison. I think sculpturally the Regali Ceratops trumps this um, Malawi Saurus, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, this there's no comparison. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Safari Limited Ankylosaurus, the surprise of the year for me, at least from Safari Limited. But if you own that figure, hopefully you can get an idea of the size you can expect from this new Malawi Saurus. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and bring in our most recent review, the massive Safari Limited Amargosaurus figure. And really seeing these two side by side, there is really no comparison. The Malawi Saurus is just dwarfed by that Amargosaurus, both in height and in length. But hey, all things considered, if we're being fair here, the Malawi Saurus is much fatter. So let's uh, give credit where credit's due. But yeah, I feel like Safari Limited wanted to introduce two unique dinosaur species in toy form this year, but they also wanted to deliver on a very large sculpture. So they just took the Amargosaurus and blew it up to a much bigger size. So that way they could say that they gave us a nice big sculpture and introduced new and interesting species, which is fine with me. Might not be fine for collectors who like their dinosaurs to all be in scale. But again, that's up to you to decide. Well, everyone, that's going to do it for our look at the Safari Limited new for 2018 Malawi Saurus. Overall, this model is very striking in its coloration and in its uniqueness. I think it's going to stand out very well on your shelf from your other long neck dinosaur toys. Um, Overall, it's not fantastic though. It is lacking um, in particularly in sculptural detail and the paint blemishes here and there um, make me a little sad. Of course, maybe I'm just being overly picky and if you're handy with a brush, those are quick fixes. But as is, I think I'm going to award this Malawi Saurus an 8 out of 10. Um, I think I do like it more than the Amargosaurus, um, but as far as craftsmanship goes, I do not think it is better in that department. But of course, I want to know what you all think of this new model. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you own it yet? Are you going to get it? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to let us know by hitting the like button. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Also drop a comment down below asking for any uh, requested reviews. As I said, we're going to start taking a look at those pretty quick here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the love and support. And that's all from us today. Killer Shrew Fan, out.